Today, March 4th, we want to encourage you to march forth and see your dentist so you can have a beautiful smile. That's what Lu Louise Formica did, and her forward thinking has had her smiling for the past 11 years, thanks to help from dentist Steve Marsh. Louise and Steve are here to share the details, so welcome to both of you. Thanks, Lori. Thanks. So Louise, I'll start with you. What brought you to Dr. Marsh? Okay, so the first thing that I see when I look at a person is their lips and their smile and their teeth. So I was getting older, I was looking for a new job, so um, I wanted to improve my smile. So I saw Dr. Marsh on Golden Opportunities and I gave him a call. All right, so what happened when you first met with him? Um, we chatted. Uh, we went through different ways to change my smile. He started out with maybe you could whiten them and then work, you know, like maybe your top teeth or your bottom teeth. And then um, he let me think about it. And then I came back and decided what we were going to do. All right. So, Steve, what did you do to help out Louise's smile? Well, first of all, she's such a lovely person. And she, <laughs> as she said, she's looking for it. And that happens to us all the time where people are looking for a new position, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, again, we always look at the options. I, I need to know what's important to her before we jump in. We know what we can do. Um, and so we looked at different options. And as she said, we started with the upper arch. And here's a picture. And you can actually see, do you remember this, Louise? This was 11 or 12 years ago. And the teeth had rotated, which happens with all of us as we, as we mature. Um, she had had some old crowns. You can see that on the viewer's left side. And you had some old silver fillings, uh, Louise. Uh, they had held up for a while. It was time to change those out. So in the back part of the mouth, we used all porcelain. Those are porcelain crowns, and in the front we did upper porcelain veneers. And you can see Lori, and as Louise sees here, it's a very nice uniform arch smile. For sure. So, as Louise said, we started in the upper <laughs> arch. We ultimately did the lowers too, and the teeth were irregular. They had turned yellow, as, as we happens when we all age. Uh, or mature, and um, so we wanted to give her a smile line, and the upper determined that. Now, here's what's really interesting, Lori. Over the years, Louise, did you have braces as a kid? I can't remember. No, I didn't. No. That's why they look like yeah. that. <laughs> and it happens with people, too, by the way. I had braces, and my teeth turned. Same, yeah, so the teeth sort of have a memory. So in, in people who've had braces, sometimes they move and migrate. In Louise's case, she said she didn't. And again, you can look at braces and that sort of thing as an option, but it still wouldn't have restored the teeth. And they had had fillings, as you can see, they had broken down. So once again, in the front six teeth, we were able to do porcelain veneers. We talk about them a lot here. And then in the back, we did these posterior crowns. Again, today, we don't really use any metal in our practice. So we were able to give her a smile that matched upper and lower and, and broader. Here we are 11 or 12 years later. All right. So, Louise, what did you think about your then, your after then, oh, and your after geez. now? <laughs> it's like this is your life. Um, no, it, it, it's good. It's good to see. And um, I really do. I really do love my teeth. I haven't regretted um, doing them for one minute ever. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you've kept them nice. How did she do that, Dr. Marsh? Ah, really important. So all these years later, every four to six months, Louise comes in. We check them. We get her teeth cleaned. Sometimes there's some stain, but she, her hygiene's magnificent. She does a beautiful job. <laughs> a lot of times, Lori, we can fix something up, and if people don't maintain them, it's like everything else in your life, your house, your car, sure. you need to maintain it. So she's been very good about it. And I think we've made a friend for life with Louise. Uh -huh. It's really gratifying to us. Well, thanks yes, you, Thanks for being on the show. Oh, you're so welcome. One, two, three, March 4th. Towards a smile you're going to love. And for help, give Steve a call. His number's next. See what Dr. Stephen Marsh can do for your smile by calling 440-461-1003 or visit www.clevelandsmiles.com.